Hello there, this is part seven of our tutorial series. And uh, yeah, so this time let's create this dry grass, uh, this here, which is basically the same thing as we have, as we have already done in uh, part uh, six. The difference is we need, instead of using one blade like this, you have to use a bunch of them uh, so that you can take advantage of let me see if they're using this random color generator and uh, you need to make now you need to make these a little bit drier so this has to be a bit more powerful maybe uh, the randomness should come after I should be the main color so I can change this instead of add to overlay so that it doesn't overpower uh, these colors here now this grass in turn has to be taller but uh, more packed like that and uh, in the randomness settings in the rotation settings uh, this randomness has to be a bit Sorry about that. It has to be a bit. It doesn't have to be that much. So I'm just going to reduce that just a bit. And uh, let's try 500 for now. You can see the grass, but it's still too uniform and uh, too uh, not dry. So make it dry we have to play around with these colors so let's see again looking at reference images will really help you get the right look so make sure you find some reference images to look at uh, I'm not sure where mine are I think this is what I was looking at uh, for my reference images and uh, you can just drag it in and start sampling uh, the colors directly from from that and uh, the grass on this one is a bit thinner so you have to also keep that in mind reduce the overlay you can see how it's starting to look I think it even looks my look much better here looks much better here again you need to make these a little bit varied so I'm just going to pull this up and see a lot of these are pointing the same direction and uh, another thing we have to note is that uh, uh, because we want to use a variation of different blades uh, instead of just using render as object we need to use render as collection so that we have these blades in a collection so just going to select the blades collection you can see now just need to make sure some are shorter actually these can also just be independent blade so I'll just separate them and uh, sometimes for the changes you make here if you add another blade let me get rid of some of these blades here I think some of these should be facing the other direction so that we have want them to some of them to face uh, the, other, the other direction but you don't want them to go way off because you can see this batch some of some of them are just straying away from the batch uh, just a little bit but not too much so can add that 
So basically what you're doing is just layering more and more grass on top of each other. Uh, but uh, what sells the effect is the, the, thinness, the thinness of uh, these blades, uh, which you can easily reduce under your curve bevel. So you can make them thick, you can make them thin. But the thinner they look, uh, the better the effect. And basically that's how I manage this uh, to get this uh, blade of grass. And uh, if you scale it, you can see you can also use it uh, as extra grass in your scene. So that's also a nice effect. So in the next part, let's see what other grass we can look at. So this is is, is already we have already looked at that. Yeah, for the most part, that's it. I think except these leaves here. I think we can start working on those. We can work on that, those vines uh, there. And now we can call it a day. That will be it for this course. Uh, these are simple. I'll upload time lapses of how I make these. They're very simple. They're just the same concept as this. But uh, instead of having leaves, I'm just switching out uh, blades. Uh, these are kind of um branches so it's the same setup for this but i'm switching out the leaves for these branches and i'm just varying the materials a bit to get uh this dry version and uh, this uh, next to dry and this still young version so see you in the next part